Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Allie and I am super excited to um, talk about our office spotlight today, which is going to be our office in Baltimore. So I am going to add in our guest. Just adding her now. Hey, Danielle, how are you? Happy Thursday. Great. How are you doing? Doing well, doing well. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you everyone for listening. Um, so like I said, my name is Allie and I'm on our campus recruiting team. And here with me is Danielle Chapman and she is the division director of our Baltimore Technologies team. So just to kind of kick things off, um, Danielle, like I said, she manages our Baltimore Technologies team and she's been with Beacon Hill since August of 2023. So Danielle, thank you again for joining us. Us. Um, I thought just to kind of kick things off, I'd love to start off by um, just hearing a little bit about your story, about you know how you discovered staffing and how you ended up here at Beacon Hill. Yeah, absolutely. So so excited to speak with you today. Um, so my journey with my career was a little unique. I actually did not have a background in technology at all. I actually had a biology degree when I graduated. It looks like the connection might have cut off. Let me see. Sometimes we have technical difficulties. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I think, Danielle, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I think I got cut off. No, you're good. You're good. You just started talking about your story. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, just start over. Um, yeah, so I did not have a background in technology at all. Um, I actually had a biology degree when I graduated college. I worked in healthcare for many years in project management, um, but I knew I wanted to get into sales. I love people. I love relationship building, um, and I just kind of fell into the staffing industry, which I think happens to a lot of people. I, I didn't know much about it. Um, I had a friend in the industry that introduced me to an account executive role that I took. Um, from there, I moved into a senior account executive, then I was promoted to a director, um, and then I came over to Beacon Hill last fall um, to take the director role over at their Baltimore office and really kind of grow their team out and help grow the footprint in the Baltimore um, office. And I've just you know fallen in love with staffing ever since then. Yeah, that's amazing. And you've always been in tech staffing, correct? Yes. Okay technology. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And so how has it been, you know, transition coming to Beacon Hill? What's that been like? Yeah, I mean, Beacon Hill is such an amazing company. A few of the things that you know, drew me to this company, there's so many women in leadership that I get to work alongside. And then um, just the culture here is so amazing. Um, you can really tell everything Beacon Hill does. They really have their employees in mind. There's just so many amazing things that they do to celebrate each other and their successes. Um, you know, in December, I got to go to our Christmas party in Boston, which was just an amazing experience. Um, they fly the whole company up with your your spouse um, for this huge beautiful gala um, president's club we go to Palm Beach um, just so many different things they do to celebrate each other just really amazing culture here yeah absolutely and I love that women in leadership I think it's so incredible that we're all here to support each other and really just grow our you know all of the teams that we have so with that as well you know since being here in August obviously you touched upon the holiday party um, for a bit but can you talk about some maybe traditions that you have or maybe some quarterly outings that your team has done as well? Yeah, so um, we do quarterly outings every couple months um, where we just kind of get together, get out of the office. Um, we do try to do something different just to celebrate the successes we've had in the previous quarter. Some of the things we've done, we've gone to Top Golf outings. Um, a couple weeks ago, we went to opening day to watch the Orioles. Um, probably this summer, we'll do something outside, maybe go to a winery or go to Annapolis and get crabs, something like that. Um, you know, we 
we do other things to celebrate too, celebrations for different milestones or different anniversaries and birthdays. Um, we'll do different charity events, you know, for things that are important to us. I know next week we're doing um, a walk at the zoo to celebrate one of the local children's hospitals. Um, so we're always, you know, doing different things to just get out of the office and spend time together. I love that. And I think it's great, too, because it really does build that community within your team. And obviously, you work together every single day, but it's really great that you're able to also do things outside of work and, you know, also help the community, but do fun things as a team as well. Um, and I know that you touched a little bit about the holiday party, but for anyone listening who's never been, and since it was your first holiday party that you've been to at Beacon Hill, can you kind of tell us a little bit about your experience and what it was like? Yeah, so um, we got to fly into Boston for a couple of days. Um, it was really, you know, great for me being new to the company because every single employee goes, they fly their spouse or significant other in. I got to meet, you know, we have 45 offices across the nation. I got to meet people from different offices. They really spare no expense or details. <laughs> the most beautiful gala I've ever seen. Um, so it was really amazing. And then the next day we all kind of go downtown Boston and have brunch at different restaurants. So it's just a really awesome experience and something really special that Beacon Hill continues to do no matter, no matter how big we get. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember, I think this last year was my first holiday gala and I was just amazed by everything that they did. I mean, the dinner on Thursday night and then just everything they do the whole weekend. So I'm glad that you were able to join a few months before. So you were able to experience that. Um, and I'd also love to, you know, talk a little bit about your office as well. So for everyone listening, our Baltimore office is actually located in Columbia, Maryland. Um, so if you could tell us a little bit about the office, if it's near anything or a little bit about, um, you know, what it has to offer and a little bit of the structure of your office, too. Yeah, sure. Um, so our office, like Ali said, is in Columbia, Maryland, probably about 25 minutes outside of Baltimore. Really great area. There's shopping, restaurants, great places to go for lunch or happy hour. Um, we're right off 95, so super easy to get to. Um, we have a gym in our building. We have pickleball courts. Um, it's a Merit building, so if you're a Merit gym membership, you get a pretty good discount on your gym membership. Um, the floor plan, it's a really open floor plan. So, you know, when we're in the office together making calls, it's just a super collaborative and fun environment. Um, right now, we only have our technologies division sitting out of the Baltimore office, but hopefully as we grow, some of our other divisions will join us here. Yeah, we would love that. And um, I think that's so great. I'm obviously hopeful that I can visit you in your office in the next couple months. But yeah, I mean, I think that's great that it offers so many things in the building, but also nearby as well. And then obviously, as you mentioned, right now, there is just the technology division in Baltimore. So can you tell us a little bit about the technology division? You know, what kind of roles you work on and what it's like working on that team? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're working with various consultants in, within the IT industry that could be software developers, architects, QA testers, project managers, or, you know, roles on the business side and connecting those with our clients to support, you know, various initiatives or projects that they may have. Um, you know, we're working across all industries. Obviously, Baltimore is in a really unique location close to D.C., so we're supporting a lot of federal clients. Um, we have a great presence of healthcare here, you know, some of the best and biggest hospital systems in the world. Um, so it's a really, really great market here in Baltimore. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I know your team is growing. You're constantly adding more, you know, recruiters and account executives to your team. And as you mentioned earlier in the call, you did not have a staffing background. You went to school for biology. And I tell candidates that all the time that when they're applying an interview, they do not need to have <laughs> a tech or IT background to start out in this division and be successful. So can you kind of walk us through what a great hire looks like, especially since you do most of the hiring on your team um, and kind of what you look for? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, you know, the most important thing is really the cultural fit. Um, you know, just looking for someone who's positive, who's hardworking, who's competitive, you know, willing to learn and someone who really wants to grow within our company. Um, you know, as a newer growing office, I'm definitely going to have opportunities for leadership down the role, down the road, um, you know, whether you want to move into a leadership role or become a mentor. Um, so just, you know, looking for people who want a long term fit and can really just um, be in a collaborative and fun environment. Yeah, absolutely. And I tell that to all of my candidates as well, that there's so many soft skills and transferable skills that you can take from previous experience, whether it's 
working in restaurants or being part of a sports team or a leadership opportunity throughout school. So I completely agree with that. And I think you are building such an incredible team in Baltimore. And like I said, I cannot wait to visit. Um, and lastly, I would just love to hear your advice since you have been so successful in the staffing industry, especially within technologies and have really are really growing your team right now. I'd love to hear what advice you have um, for anyone starting out, just because a lot of people that are watching this may be brand new to recruiting and staffing. So I would love to hear your advice on, you know, um, on anyone starting out new in staffing and what they can expect in their career. Yeah, absolutely. Like, as we mentioned, you don't need a background in technology to be successful. And I even, you know, did a career, career change from healthcare to technology and have been very successful. So um, I think just to be coachable and have that, you know, to want to learn, um, you know, you'll find your way, you'll learn it as you go. Um, and yeah, I think that is, would really, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, you know, you are building such an incredible team in Baltimore. And I'm so excited what's to come this summer and just this year ahead. So Danielle, thank you so much for joining me today and for sharing a little bit about your background, but also about your uh, Baltimore office. Yeah, thanks so much, Allie. Of course. All right. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.